this, my dear? A bit. Mostly I feel silly in this dress. Isabel, we're here to celebrate, not to climb trees in the orchard. Besides, you look radiant. Elrath himself smiles on the Griffin Empire today. We are gathered here today to witness the marriage of our beloved sovereign, Nikolai, King of our Holy Empire, to our fair lady, Isabel, Jewel of the Greyhound Duchy. Under siege, we must retreat to the Summer Palace. No, I can't leave him. Come, this is war, and you are not a warrior. I wish I was, Godric. Perhaps I should be. You've been acting a bit oddly, Beatrice. Are you feeling well? Me? Oh, well, it's... I'm... homesick, I suppose. Feeling edgy and bored. It may be boring, ladies, but at least it is far from the war. Not for long. Another messenger arrived this morning. The demons have taken Hardwick and Thornham. Either we go to war... Or war comes to us. Any news of Nikolai? He's fine. But, milady, he's young and unsure of himself. He's too embarrassed to ask for help. I know he forbade us to leave. And we shall obey him. Young or not, he is the king. You were ordered here and I was ordered to protect you. It's quite simple. But the Empire is in peril! Ah! Shouldn't we do something? Why was Nikolai so opposed to asking the Elves and the Mages for help? Or the Dwarves? The Elves have been slow to recover from the last war. The Mages? Blasphemers led by Cyrus. A man with delusions of godhood. Besides, Nikolai hasn't forgotten that Alaron and Cyrus came back alive from the War of the Eclipse, but his own father did not. Still, if he were here, he might command us differently. Perhaps, if it really is that bad. Two more towns, Godric. How bad must it be? Please, Godric, though you do not like him, take word to Archmage Cyrus. Their magic would be of great help against the demons. There is wisdom in what you say, but that's Cyrus and the king's orders. For the Empire, Godric, which is greater than any one king, even one we love so dearly. As you wish, milady. Griffin Eternal! And what about us? Shall we take word to the elves? You should. You have the wisdom to negotiate with Alaron, and are practiced in the art of diplomacy. As for me, I've always felt more comfortable in a camp than at court. 
But we could go together. Me? Go to Ireland? Beatrice, I'm surprised at you. At the Abbey, you were so overprotective. You'll stay here, then? Not at all. I shall raise the militia. That is more suitable to my talents. That's too dangerous. I shall be surrounded by soldiers in the heart of the Griffin Empire. Safer than anywhere else, I think. As my queen commands. Go quickly. You will find me somewhere between here and the battlefield. To war! Ah! To war! Get off our fields! We don't want you here! That should be enough troops, I think. But if I don't lead them myself, they'll desert along the way. I'll be with you soon, Nikolai. Hooray! We're in the channel! The archers see things my way, but they say that Ashwood rejects the rule of the king. I have to settle this with the mayor. That should be enough. It's time to get these troops to Nikolai. We shall hurry as if Crag Hack himself were on our heels. Scouts have found demon patrols in the neighborhood. I hope the troops are ready. They'll soon face our demonic foes. So, that was just a recon force. No matter. With one victory under our belts, the troops have gained confidence. Griffin Eternal! Why was there a demon army here, so far from the war? What would they want? My queen? A letter from King Aleron. He's sending two legions of blade dancers under the command of Findon. Findon? I have seen him at court. He's an emissary, not a warrior. Still, it's far better than nothing. Well done, Beatrice. The Empire thanks you. I live to serve, my queen. Sir Thomas! We leave at first light! The elves are sending troops! Hooray! Live in the tunnel! Hello. Finden, I presume. I am Queen Isabel. Thank you for remembering our old alliance. I fear that Finden will be late, Isabel. What? Who? Who are you? Elves! Allies! To me! Beatrice, your weapon! I think not, Isabel. <laughs> Be Beatrice? What? Your dear, insufferable Beatrice is finally doing something useful. Fertilizing the vegetables at the Summer Palace. <laughs> What's left of her, anyway? What? How? When did you? As soon as Nikolai announced you were going there. Poor Beatrice. She was so trusting. And I can be very persuasive. Knight Thomas appears to be wounded, Biara. Perhaps you could attend to him. Yes. Yes. Thank you, my lord. Leave us! I'm sorry. That's not what I wanted. But the Demon Sovereign gave clear orders. Killing Beatrice seemed the easiest way. Easy for you, <sighs> black-hearted. I know it hits you hard. She practically raised you. Her abbey was like a second home, and the apple orchard became your favorite playground. How do you know? Well, my master's after you, not Beatrice. The demon sovereign? Me? Why? He wouldn't tell me. All I know is that he sent us to deliver you to him. I will die before I see that happen. No one. Least of all I would like to see that, Isabel. Really? So what do you want? And who are you? Me? 
I'm Igorel. A mere soldier in a greater war. And war demands sacrifice. So, soldier, what do you intend to do with me? If I could find a means for you to escape this fate, if the two of us could disappear, would you trust me? Trust you? A servant of the demon sovereign? The murderer of Beatrice? As if I had a choice! I will do what I can to protect you. What do you see, Freda? A peasant militia, flying the griffin banner, and another, some kind of flower. An apple blossom. At last, that will be Lady Isabel. By Elrath, she had me worried. First Cyrus laughs at us, then Isabel disappears. It has been a long month, Freda. Father, why did Archmage Cyrus reject our request? I don't know why. Something to do with the last war, I think, when Cyrus refused to follow our king. I would dearly love to see that arrogant, gutless old... Excuse me. Permission to agree heartily, sir. You have it, Freda. But enough chatter, we've a kingdom to save. Griffin Eternal! Griffin Eternal! Where is she, then? No one knows. She went off to meet Findon and the Elves two days ago, and never came back. Our scouts found signs of a hastily broken camp there. No Elves, sir, but traces of demons. Demons? By Elrath. Any word of Abyss Beatrice? None, Father. We're off again, then, Freda. Two ladies of the Griffin Empire have fallen to the demons, and I won't let that go unpunished. Your strength has never been appreciated as much as today, Godric. Thank you for delivering me. It is my duty, lady. Though joy at your rescue is lessened by the news of Beatrice's death. And of King Cyrus's arrogance. One day he'll pay for that. Lord Godric! Lady Isabel! Scouts report a small army of demons headed to Dunmore. No more than a few days' march. We can fortify the walls and lay in foodstocks. No, that will be Agriel. I won't sit here and wait for him. It's payback time for Beatrice and for all of the Griffin Empire. Lady, our position is stronger if we stay. 
We have defeated them every time we have taken the field against them. We are rested and prepared, Godric. And it's time that Agriel and his minions felt the wrath of Elrond. <laughs> I must congratulate you on your prowess. You have something of the warrior queens of old in you. The Greyhound blood runs true, Godric. But I am angry that the monster Agriel escaped. I fear he is collecting more troops and preparing a siege. Perhaps your idea of fortifying the city is best. Very well, Lady Isabel. I shall give the commands. Oh, it burns at my heart to sit and wait. But at least this will split the demon army and ease the pressure on Nikolai. You are thinking like a true monarch, lady. I am most impressed. <laughs> but demon reinforcements are a concern, lady. I fear that the next assault will be our last. What can we do, Godric? There was a relic near Dunmore from the War of the Bitter Ashes, the Tear of Asher. A gift from Elrath himself to King Brian Falcon of the Old Empire. If we could find it, our armies would be unstoppable. Beatrice once told me of it, but it has been lost these 400 years. Its secret was left with the Unicorn Duchy, my lady. With my family. There is a series of obelisks that will lead us to it. Lost artifacts of legendary kings. We grasp at straws, Godric. We grasp at survival, Lady Isabel. But, to be practical, I should go to seek help from Nikolai as well. Very well, Godric. With the demons attacking us, Nikolai should be able to move quickly. May the light of Elrath guide you. But first, tell me how to find those obelisks. to King Brian Falcon. The light of Elrath shines upon this city. The demon reinforcements are a concern, lady. I am glad we decided to hold out here. Can we hold them off, Godric? I do not know. I begin to worry. With their army besieging Dunmore, though, I doubt that Nikolai is hard-pressed. I think it is time to turn the tables and ask him to help us. I don't know. Above all else, my lady, we must keep the future queen of the Griffin Empire out of their hands. I shall have to take this mission personally. Very well, Godric. With the demons attacking us, Nikolai should be able to move quickly. May the light of Elrath guide you. No ordinary blade did this. Are you sure? 
I can feel something. Demon magic. Poison. Nikolai! Nikolai! Isabel. Isabel. Oh! Lady Isabel, no, please. You do not want to see him. To remember him this way. Oh, my love! What has he done to you? I came to save you. I failed. Not you, my love. Not you. Me. My kingdom. No heir to the throne. All is lost. The Empire is saved, my king. For this you will be remembered, as your father was. The kingdom. Godric, swear to me anything, my king. Queen Isabel. She will rule in my stead. Guard her. Protect her. But she was not crowned. She swear it. I swear it, my king. Nikolai! Isabel. May Elrath guide you. Guide us all. The father, and now the son. By the light of Elrath, who shall I be forced to come to live next? Your light! Your Elrath! Where was he when Nikolai was killed? When Beatrice was murdered? Lady Isabel, I... Queen Isabel. Lady, I... Queen Isabel. Queen Isabel. Don't, I mean, please do not... Elrath. If you've never listened before, listen now. By the blood of my love, of my family, I swear vengeance on all demon kind. Their sovereign, their kin, and the beast Agriel who did this today. You are quick, Miara. What news of our enemies? Strong Griffin forces block all the major roads between us and the city of Gehenna. Our imp scouts have reported an elite unit, led by Godric, that snaps at our heels. Godric? I thought that Isabel would want to take my head herself. Isabel? She has departed in tears, taking her favorite corpse to its funeral. Godric has become her instrument of vengeance. And he wants you... alive. So, no friendly towns, no reinforcements, and no chance to rest. Nothing like a little challenge to spice up a dull wake, huh? The gates! Where is that damn tunnel on the gates to Sheon? If I hadn't used them myself, I would almost swear they didn't exist. What's this? Attacked by that scum Eraziel and his horned idiots? Oh, perhaps the Sovereign has discovered my independent mindset. That means trouble. So, scrumming him, let us discuss your death. Tell me why you were here, and it will be fast. Otherwise, I shall turn you over to Miara. And it will be excruciatingly slow. Please, Erasial, refuse to talk. No! I... I was told to get two things. One is the artifact that Nikolai used in the battle, the heart of the griffin. The other is... your head! My head? Why? The Demon Sovereign knows I am loyal. You lie! You have betrayed him and he knows! Kabbaleth will protect me! He will... Yeah. What will I do? Go on, please. Tell me. Give me orders. I love that. Master! Master, I did not mean it! You fail. You lose. You fail. I know you and your ambitions. You are strong, but I am patient. You're next. What 
is this betrayal of which Eraziel spoke? Aren't you one of the Sovereign's most powerful agents? I will explain later. Now is not the time to talk. Now is the time to run. No! He knows I'm with you. So I am tainted by your treachery. I'm risking my life, and I deserve to know now, Agriel. <sighs> if you wish. Something happened while I was undercover in Griffin Lands. It made me question Kabbalah's plans. Question our sovereign? You <sighs> would consider that? Considered it and done it. Now he knows and... How does he know? Who spied on me? It doesn't matter now. Wait. He mentioned your ambitions. You want to replace him, don't you? To rule Sheog in his place. That is madness. Ah, uh, well. I should not give my plans away so easily, but... If anyone could do it, it is you. And you will remember those who helped you, yes. So what is the next step, my lord? Or should I say, my sovereign? To get the heart of the Griffin. You saw it in action. Yes, we must have that. I know where they keep it. In the Griffin King's mausoleum, the Hall of Heroes. It's in the middle of the Empire, well defended. So there'll be a lot of killing. What's the bad news? You know, Biara, I'm glad I have you as an ally rather than an enemy. I am not here to kill you. I need to get the stone that lies within. A demon army is heading this way. Move aside and I will spill your blood. Demons have committed enough atrocities here, you filth. I won't be the one who betrays my dead king and lets you desecrate his tomb! Helms down! Shields up! Griffin Eternal! So my old enemy Vare and his army want to come and play, huh? So be it. Stay right where it is, Fair. Unlike yours, it actually has brains inside. disturbs the rest. A demon. But you touch the stone, so you can't be. Approach me, stranger. You are an illusion. From where do you speak? Ah. That is why you were not affected by the stone. Interesting. Agriel, I presume. You have one up on me. And you are? Tiro. Tiro. Hmm. My former master had much to say about you. It was all quite passionate, and none of it was nice. Former master? That is reassuring news. If you have disowned the demon sovereign, why are you here? He seeks this, and I don't want him to have it. Then we share a goal. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you are high in the councils of Kabbalah. For years, I was his agent in the Griffin Empire. Then we can help each other. Kabaleth wants to destroy you. The Griffin army hunts you for killing their king. And now, something even worse comes. 
Worse than that? Indeed. A demon messiah. More powerful even than Kabaleth. It might mean the end of everything. We need each other. Where do I find you? South of the Elven capital, in Ireland. The Iris Sea. There is an island in the shape of a crescent moon. If you live to make it that far, don't worry. I'll find you. Hurry! Well, Dead King, I think you will have a great deal of company before this comes to an end. Turn around and leave, demon. Your burning feet shall not tread our meadows. Move aside, Flower Sniffer. I have spoken with Tiru. I must pass through the Iris' sea. Tiru? He is but a legend. Then your hooves will not scorch one blade of Solana's grass. Two shagging pixies. I don't have time for this. Kill them! They fight well for stargazing poets. If I am going to make it to Chiru, I'll need to clear out the towns on the way. Gentle druids, it's harvest time! At last the way is clear to Chiru. And the irony of having to kill so many so that I can save the world is not lost on me. The town I needed, but not this letter. For the glory of Solana, who writes trite like this? Gilrin, of course. The stain on my honor cannot be purged but by a ritual duel. Is this all they think about? I have more important things to do than reprimand petulant florists. Gilrian's welcome to become my enemy if he wishes, but he would do well to learn that those who make that choice seldom live to make too many others. You have made a mockery of me and my name. Take my head, and finish it. If your name means so much to you, stay alive and restore it. Dying is the easy way out. I can't live with this humiliation. Then do it yourself. Life is too precious to be thrown away so easily, poet. One day, you might figure that out. Tiru isn't so far, but the battle's not over yet. I still need a ship, and the city of Arrow has plenty of them. So the elves are deserting, are they? Temperamental troops at best. I need some demons that I can control, and there's a Sheog outpost not too far that will do nicely. strength. A few hungry demons and the shipyard is as good as mine. A shadow dragon? What do you want with me? We harvest, we stock, we convert. You will do us a favor. I may do you a favor. What is it? And why should I help you? One hundred archers. Elves, one hundred. That will take time, and while archers are plentiful, time is not. 
What do I get in return? Something suitable, something for your little needs. Don't bargain. Start harvesting. You no longer command me, and your deals are always double-edged. Take our advice. Take our help. Give us elves. It will be worth your while. Yes, that was precisely what I needed right now. I don't feel very clean after that deal, but they provided an interesting reward. The road to the sea is open. I'd like to think that the hard part is over, but somehow I doubt it. I wonder what that fog is. All the dock hands were whispering about it. Hmm, the fog. They say it's alive, even hungry and as old as Kabbaleth himself. It's best that I avoid it if possible. So, could you try to explain this all to me from the beginning? Very well. In the beginning, our mother, Asher, created the stars from the coarse matter of the cosmic egg. No! The demon messiah! Nah, <laughs> I was just kidding. Well then, you know of the War of the Eclipse, 20 years ago. Of course. The combined armies of men, elves and mages fought Kabbaleth. That's when King Alexei, Nikolai's father, died. Yes. I created the heart of the Griffin then, saving a fragment of Alexei's soul when he entered Sheog, and Karbaleth took him. Ah, the brave fool. Like father, like son. Who are you, really? A humble servant of Asha. I have spent the last two hundred years fighting the Demon Sovereign and his plans, and now, when I'm old and tired, you show up to complicate things. Not I. I am simple. I only want to defend the Griffin Empire. Then why did you lead the army that fought Nikolai? How many Griffin soldiers died with him? Come, Agriel. There cannot be secrets between us. It... It is Isabel. By Asher's eight heads. I tried to factor every force and power into my plans, and forgot the oldest and messiest one. I watched her grow up, almost from birth. Kabbalah sent me to keep an eye on her. Do you know why? He never said. He must have foreseen that she would be the queen of the Griffin Empire one day. No. There must be more to it than that. I have a guess. Enough of this, boy. What of your dire warnings? And this demon messiah? It is the greatest of Kabbaleth's efforts to bring a half-human, half-demon into the world. Unlike demons, it could remain in this world permanently. Unlike humans, it could wield the magic of Urgash. How? When? I do not know where or how. That is what I am striving to learn. So how can I help? Change. You no longer follow the Demon Sovereign. You need to free yourself from his tainted magics. This is possible? The right of true nature. It is exhausting and painful. But it will purge you. And Isabel? First, you, my friend. Then... We go to war to save the world. The world is your concern, Jiru. As I said, I am simple. I only want to save her.
you are ready? Once I start, I cannot stop. The sooner we start, the sooner I can act. Excellent. Leopards do not change their spots, nor suck you by their alliances. <laughs> Bad decision. Bye-bye, sweetie. That was certainly effective. But the next time you see her, you better be prepared. What do you mean? I just killed her. Not at all. The heart of the griffin creates a portal. It sends the demons back to their realm of Sheog. What? You mean that all those demons that Nikolai destroyed they were simply banished back home. So, the demon army is as large and powerful as it ever was? Precisely. Have you heard the news, dear? It appears that your son Nikolai has just died. Hmm? But you should be happy. Just think. He has this whole afterlife ahead of him, ripe with possibilities. Huh? No. I haven't forgotten the day that he and Godric had me banished, together with Cyrus and those craven mages. And his poor fiancé. She would do anything to see her love again, no? In any shape or form. After all, not even half of the peers and lords support her. The rest want Archbishop Randall and that boy Andre, Nikolai's cousin on the throne. Turmoil, turbulence, treachery. The living are so hot-blooded. Mm. <laughs> Pay her a visit. An excellent idea. Let's pack our bags then, shall we? Oh, but you must come along. I'm sure you're just dying to see the Towers of Talengard again, no? If an empire rebels, civil war? Now, isn't that charming? I helped defeat the supporters of Duke Duncan, and Isabel owes me at least an audience. Isn't it lovely when fortune favors the pragmatic? I am in mourning, and have slept badly, so I will not mince words. What do you want? To see Nikolai again. Are you sick? He is dead, old man. He lies in the mausoleum at the Hall of Heroes, next to his father. Indeed, he lies at peace. But he could rise again, if you wish it. Nikolai! Rise again! Who are you? Your husband knew me as an astrologer and mage. I was a close friend of his mother. In fact, I carry a part of her with me wherever I go. Astrologer? Mage? What kind of magics are these, if Nikolai was even beyond the help of Elrath's Archangels? The Archangels are limited. Elrath himself is subject to certain laws. Asha, the spider goddess, however, is above them all. She made those laws, and revealed their secrets only to a very few. The spider goddess? Asha has many faces, and you refer to the darkest one? You speak of necromancy. This is heresy, old man. I would be off the throne, and you would be burnt at the stake if I condoned it. Really? I was not aware that you cared so much for the edicts of Archbishop Randall. In fact, I thought he wanted to replace you. However, if my offer does not interest you... Wait. How? How could this be so easy? Easy? I did not say that. The key lies in three artifacts that were stolen from me by King Cyrus. King Cyrus? The Archmage? I hear in your voice that you feel as I do for dear old Cyrus. 
It would mean war. It would mean justice, I think. Even vengeance for Cyrus's treachery. Most of all, it would mean Nikolai, the rightful king, your lord and liege, your beloved. Very well. Let us see what it will take to get those artifacts. But be aware that I will be watching you very carefully. Markal and his evil magic! This is worse than treachery! This is blasphemy! I have given him protection and my word. But I have not! I have never trusted him! Why? He said he had been a counselor of Queen Fiona, your own sister. Did he tell you that I exiled him with Nikolai's blessing the day she died? What? No, but still, his plan has merits. Return a king to the throne, chastise the mages. Should Cyrus go unpunished? Did he not laugh when you asked for aid? Yes, he laughed at us, and at Elrath, and at our piety. The mages have no dragon, Godric. They are godless. Worse, they would make themselves gods. And Cyrus is the worst of that arrogant lot. But our empire has been weakened, and war... The kingdom is fragmenting. Only Nikolai's spirit can restore peace. Maybe. Still, I do not trust Markal. We exiled him once for his schemes and treacheries. I fear what may happen if we let him return. We are wasting time, Godric, and the Empire needs us. As the Queen, I am going, and by your oath, I ask that you follow me. I remember my oath, and I will go with you. But that does not mean that I agree. Lore Keep was a mighty center of magic, dedicated to the most elusive of Asher's teachings. Had Mad King Oleg's fanatics not burned it to the ground, my mentor Sandro would not have died the final death. I will see it rebuilt, and when it is strong, the major's town of Hickam shall be the first to hear the news. been restored. A new century to Asher's wisdom rises, and we shall conquer all. That is, the Griffin Empire shall conquer all, of course. <laughs> Isabel, my queen, congratulations on your brilliant leadership. We have taken the first steps towards rebuilding the Griffin Empire. And you have taken the first step in your vengeance. It irks you that we share a common goal. But don't let your ill will override your manners in the presence of the Queen. May I have the amulet? I would rather hold it until the four are together. I have a responsibility to an entire nation, Markel. You do not trust me. This wounds me deeply. Please, Queen Isabel, let me hold it for you. Him? My queen, he, he cannot comprehend the magnitude of our vision. I have always had, and always will have, the interest of the Griffin Empire as my sole guide. You will give it to me when I ask for it? When we are ready? Of course, my queen. Griffin is home! Even better, my queen. Griffin undying. Cyrus! That idiot broke the Lich Clown into four elements. The amulet of necromancy I have, but the ring of the unrepentant, the cloak of death's shadow, and the staff of the netherworld remain to be acquired. There goes Cyrus, sneaking away with the aid of that charming ring. My ring! I shall have it back, with or without the finger it's attached to. But to do that, I'll need more power. Twenty bone dragons, I think, 
should be sufficient to tip the scales. Wherever you are, Cyrus, I have my dragons that sands in your hourglass fall quickly indeed. <laughs> My queen, Cyrus was loath to give up either the ring or his life, but I have taken both. Prepare the troops. We leave for the Hall of Heroes. Excellent. Griffin undying. Don't forget that you are the queen, Isabel. It should be you giving the orders, not Markal. We are allies, Godric. Stop worrying. I disagree, Isabel. I think that we need more worrying. Much more worrying. Oh. I have come for the Amulet of Necromancy. I still <coughs> Barkal has ruined an allied kingdom, raised hordes of undead. And now he orders you about like a scullery maid. You forget yourself. I am the queen. Yes, you are the queen. <coughs> Unless Markal crooks his finger. You have fallen under his spell, as Fiona did. No! I am doing this for the Griffin Empire. It is too late now for second thoughts. I order you to... No, my lady. I can no longer obey you. And I doubt that Nikolai would reprimand me. think that Nikolai would prefer treachery? When he returns, let us be sure to ask him. Enough. Oh. So, Godric has fortified himself in Hickam and thinks to defy me. He seems to have forgotten that his daughter Freda is in Baitworth and not with him. If I capture her and escort her in chains to Lawkeep for questioning, the old fool will have no choice but to come and attack me. <laughs> oh, really? Chivalry. It's so predictable. She's a lovely bit of booty, that Freda. And now, a slow march to Lawkeep. We have to give Godric time to prepare his rescue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Planning takes time for those of little imagination. Set angels instead of coming himself? <laughs> Delightfully unexpected. I'm tempted to thank him. I've never had the opportunity to kill an angel before. Wings of dead angels are far more useful than the nasty birds themselves. Now I can fly straight to Hickam to chat with Godric. Perhaps I'll bring his daughter as well, after I kill her and resurrect her as a white. Or perhaps not. It takes time to do these things properly. Oh, Godric. With the amulet, your king will be restored, and he would want you by his side. I do not know what will be restored, but the king that I knew has passed beyond our reach. Godric, you made a promise to Nikolai. Fulfill it, or be known as an oathbreaker. In my heart, I do not believe that this is right. Oath or no oath. Gods. Take Sir Godric and put him in chains. Who knows what plots he may hatch, stubborn and vengeful as he is. Alive, he cannot be trusted. I cannot, Markal. He served the Empire loyally for many years. For this, I will spur him. Let us hope that you do not live to regret this. My name is Raylag. Like the others, I wish to fight for the title of Clan Lord. 
News of the death of a clan lord travels quickly indeed. Well, you have the right as all Malassa's followers do, although you are not of the Shadowbrand clan. I am Keeper of the Law, Judge, and Arbiter. And before we start, I must ask you, do you know the rules? Instruct me. The tournament is open to all. You have one month to prepare, and then you will descend to the caves and fight one another. If you arrive early to a fight, you must wait until your opponent arrives. There is one winner. There is no second place. No matter. I did not come here to almost win. The Ring of the Shadowbrand. Mine. And with it, the rule of the clan. Oh, it has been a twisted road that led to this place, but it is only a stepping stone. What will you do now, Chief of the Shadowbrand? War brews among all the peoples of Ashan, and I would unite the clans before they are picked apart. What can help me to do this? That is not for me to know. You must find Malsara, the daughter of Malasa. And where is she hidden? If I knew that, I could have answered your first question. May the shadows guide you, Bailag. Who are you who grows large in the eyes of my worshippers? Do you seek? To replace me? Never. I too seek knowledge and power. For my own gain, but for your glory. Honest, at least, if dangerous. But knowledge is power. Why do you not content yourself with knowledge alone? Ancient secrets of Ashan lie undisturbed, waiting to be uncovered. Seek them out. Bring them to me. Right now I need power more than knowledge. Help me in my quest, and I shall help you in yours. You dare to bargain with the dragons? I have already bargained with demons and prophets. So, you do not fear me. I worship you. I fear nothing. You will, one day. You will fear that which you love the most. But go, hero, with my blessing. Find one of the tears of Asha. They fell ages ago, when Sar Alam gave up his life and Asha banished her own brother, Urgash. A clan building a city around this relic cannot but prosper and grow. Unite the clans. Conquer your enemies and tithe unto me their knowledge, their secrets. Go. Greetings, Clan Lord. I come to join your cause. You can sign up outside. Speak to Captain Sorgo. Don't brush me off. I have been waging war against the Nightshard for years. Let me be the sword that strikes your enemies. Why you more than others? Your troops are good, but they lack my skills. Infiltration, seduction, and assassination. Hmm. True. You know poisons? And stealth? I have been called the Spider and the Shadow. 
Can you move fast? In the blink of an eye. Then I may have a special mission for you. Thank you. I swear that I shall not disappoint you. Not more than once, anyway. I wouldn't have described myself as power-hungry, but I have to say that this feels great. The decision is taken. The Soul Scar refused to yield. They will understand that this was a bad decision when we have to scrape them off our boots. Why such fury, Clan Lord? They would make us slaves, with demon overseers. I knew them once. I will never feel safe in Iqchal as long as they live. You are right, Raylag. Demons are the enemy of us all. The Soul Scar must be crushed before the rot spreads. But they are powerful. I've crushed demons before, and I look forward to another opportunity. Tell Sorgal to mobilize. We go to war. So the Soul Scar have invited their old friends to the party. No problem there. Killing demons together with her cultist is becoming one of my favorite pastimes. I don't imagine the demons will be back for more after that beating. Hey, Sorgal! Bring me a boot scraper! You seem to be the only noble left alive. I have a question for you. You! I know you! Silence! One more word, and I shall kill you and bind your soul to a leper's cloak. Where is the burning mirror? Never! You wish to spend eternity rubbing against diseased flesh? You wouldn't! Even to me! I would, and with pleasure. The burning mirror. Where is it? In the Archdeacon's chamber, behind Kabbalah's idol. Thank you. I'll make it quick. You seem to know much of these beasts. I was one, once. Now, if I remember correctly... No, I will not empty the hells for you, coward. Go with what you have, and come back with the Griffin Queen. The Griffin Knights are mighty, Lord. They have turned from Elrath, recruited bone dragons and armies ripped from the afterlife. If you wish to know more of the afterlife, Vea, just continue to disobey me. Go! And be successful. This labyrinth is the quickest route from here in Igshal to the demons in Sheog. If I'm fast enough, I can catch Veyr's army before it moves. Work this messy must have been done by demons. Molasses bile. They have killed the Keymaster and stolen the key. Without it, we risk getting as lost as they are. We can hurry back the other way. Take the long route. No, I'll risk it. 
The assassin can't be far ahead, and I'm going after him. We're going after him, Clan Lord. Oh look, I think we found our assassin. Demon Lord Grawl, his master's favorite mongrel. Let me search in my pack for something rusty and jagged. The key! It's time to go kill an army of demons. I'll keep their brains as a memento, if I can find a thimble small enough. Are you hurt? Not at all, thanks to you. Pardon my surprise, but I did not expect help from a host of Dark Elves. The ways of Malassa are mysterious indeed. I am Relag, Clan Lord of Igshal. You have the thanks of the Griffin Empire, Clan Lord. I am... Queen Isabel, I know you. Well, thanks to all then, and we must be on our way. We have important business. Wait! The Queen cannot go! She is in danger. Danger? Here? Preposterous! Hear me out. I would not have come so far leading an army if I did not have a good reason. A moment, Markel. What did you say? I am in danger? Yes. This is the second time that a demon army has come to the heart of the Griffin Empire. Both times they came for you. Ignore him, my queen. He sounds like a madman. Mad, you say? Mad for trying to figure out Kabbalah's intentions? There can be truth in madness, Markel. Lady, Queen Isabel, Kabbaleth and the demons are after you, and only you. You must come with me. Bring your guards if you wish. The journey is long but safe, through the lands of Ireland. Queen Isabel is going to the Hall of Heroes to recall her husband's spirit and restore her kingdom. The ravings of Dark Elves, sadly, are of somewhat less importance. I apologize for Markel's tone, but he is right. We have done much to get this far. Perhaps we can meet again, in more auspicious circumstances. Come, my queen. Out of our way, if you please. Sooner or later, I'm going to get tired of saving her life. I'll be reunited. Hurry, Markel. I am... Excited? Afraid. Why? I see nothing to worry about. Nikolai! Nikolai! What have you done? I was at peace. I sat before Elrath. Beside my father's. Out of time and place. Oh, that must have been lovely. Then I was ripped. Ripped as an unborn child from a womb. I am cursed now. Do you see? I cannot go back. My soul is damned. No, my love, please. Do you not feel when you look at me? When I look at you, I do not see my brother. 
I see warmth and life, and I want to feed on it! Nikolai! Nikolai! Stop! What happened? What went wrong? Is there a problem, my queen? Nikolai... Nikolai... Griffin Empire can't be seen like this. <laughs> I suppose I shall have to run things until she feels better. Really, such a tragedy. Thank you for seeing us, King Alaron. The undead have rendered the Griffin Empire unsafe and impure. In these times, we must remember ancient alliances, Lord Caldwell. That is why I asked Finden to be here. He guards our borders, and was previously an emissary to your court at Telengard. What do you wish from the elves of Ireland? To be blunt, land. We seek a place for our families, far from the blight of the necromancers. If I give you shelter, Will Markal not bring war to me? What of our forests, our fields? There is a risk to the harmony, my king, but we cannot ignore old allies. Please, High King. You have land on the border that is lightly forested and unpopulated. Let us use it. If war comes, we will be your buffer. We know Finland who maintains our borders. He was emissary to your court at Talengard. He will act as guide and liaison. See Lord Caldwell and his people to safety. But do not at any cost cross into Griffin Empire lands. The Elves of Ireland will not be the first to spill blood. I agree, my king. But still, I will not permit any foreign troops to cross our frontiers. Thank you, High King. And you, Captain Finden. The grace and honor of the Elves remains undimmed by time. Demons invade us? Ireland shall not succumb to their fiery swords. That's one less threat to worry about. Though I would have liked to have captured the demon's leader. I come from Alaron. The High Chief would have you return to the capital. Undead and Griffin armies have invaded Ireland, and we are almost encircled. I will link up with other border troops. The King has ordered all of them back to defend the capital. You must come as well. Cyrus Tala cannot fall. Can't stay here and wait to be overrun. Very well. Tell the King that I am on my way. Why are you here, my king? Everywhere the demons and undead press us hard. The harmony shudders. The city needs you. I know. But the army is crippled. And until the Emerald Dragons return to us, we will be helpless before their hosts. Emerald Dragons? They have not been seen for 20 years. I know. How well I know. We must get them back. Listen to me, Finden. I'll tell you how Alexei, Nikolai's father, died. Is this really the time for a history lesson? For this lesson, yes. Twenty years ago, when we fought the hosts of Kabeleth in front of his prison, he feared we would win and started to close the gates. Alexei and his household knights charged in, hoping to kill the demon sovereign once and for all. Very brave. If Cyrus and I had followed... Who knows? But I thought it unwise, and Cyrus thought it suicidal. I had a moment of doubt, and then the gates closed. We watched as the demons destroyed the flower of the Griffin Empire. You did not join? I hesitated when I should have acted. The Emerald Dragons deserted Ireland that day, Finden. Because of me. I would go to make amends, but I must defend our city. To be frank, I do not know if they would listen to me. Where do I start? The Blazing Sands. Those shores are in the hands of demons, 
so take enough troops to defeat them. Hurry, Ireland hangs in the balance. I freed from prison a lone emerald dragon. He tasked me with this. I must free his kin. He told me to seek them through secret obelisks. A promise fulfilled. The demon towns retaken. Dragons shall return. Such beauty and hope. Emerald dragons once more defend Ireland. My fault. Rest, my king. The dragons are back. We will save Ireland. For how long? A week? A month? You must end it, Finnan. Swear to me. Find Teru the Sage. He will tell you the secrets of Kabaleth. Do what I did not have the courage to do. My place is here, defending Ireland. Find Tiru before they do. Learn how to destroy Kabeleth. If not, all the warriors on Ashan will not suffice to defend Ireland. Tiru needs your help. Where will I find him? The Iris's Sea. Dragon Mist Island. Shaped like a crescent moon. I know it. Swear to me. Very well. I swear. Leave me then. You are needed elsewhere. And I go to be judged by Silano. At last I depart for lost and fog-shrouded isles. Tiru awaits me. Demons move quickly. I run to defend Tiru. Haste, haste, and more haste! Succubus has killed me, stolen the heart of the griffin and made her escape. At last, Alaron did something right to send you here. But as usual, he was too late. Do not speak ill of the dead. I will speak ill of anyone who deserves it. Besides, I go to join him in the afterlife, where we can trade insults. Listen, I must be quick. I found out that Kabaleth 
laid his mark on an infant born on the day of the eclipse some 20 years ago. Marked? How? Don't interrupt. That infant was Queen Isabel. Kabbalah's plan is to force her to bear a child. And that child is the one we must worry about. He will be the demon messiah, able to walk Ashan like a human, yet wield the power of chaos magic. A living apocalypse. Indeed. Now listen. I have put the last of my energies into an artifact, a scroll. Use it in a rite, a rite that must be performed on Isabel by a powerful mage to purge her of Karbaleth's taint. But I am no sorcerer. Find one, a great one. Go to the Silver Cities and start with Zir, the son of Cyrus. First get the scroll I made and the heart of the griffin from that succubus, then get word to Zir. It doesn't sound easy. Nobody said it would be easy. You're Ashan's last hope. Now get moving. Do not kill me. If you do, the magic of Tiro dies with me. Mercy is mine to give if you deserve it. Give me the scroll and I shall decide your fate. I will buy my life with the one thing you seek. The scroll! For my life! Of the two of us, only I can be trusted. Give me the scroll and you may go. You swear to this? Upon my honor, upon the honor of Ireland. Ooh, lovely. I cannot ask for a higher oath from an elf. Here, you keep the scroll. I'll be going. It's not every day one kills a legendary dragon knight and gets pardon for it. <laughs> if I were not oath-bound... <laughs> Alas, Nikolai! A noble king and ally is my greatest foe. Though the darkened skies chill my heart and strain my eyes, I will not be stopped. Cruel necessity requires Nikolai's death. Alas, I am ready. May this death be your last, King Nikolai. Would that it were so, Finden. But what of my soul? It was stolen from Elrath. And will walk in emptiness. I do not know, but I must destroy you. I won't oppose you. Quickly now. Give me rest. Ashan is out of harmony. When an old ally must thank me for killing him a second time. Tiru, this may be harder than even you thought. So, Markal took all his armies with him. He left some garrisons. They have returned to the Griffin Empire to resurrect their king. Oh, first of the circle. Look, can you just call me Zayir? Yes, first of... Zayir. Try Zayir the first. It sounds better. Let's see. Markal is busy with his rebels and his attack against Ireland. 
And he still fights the demons. Put that way, it almost sounds like good news. It is. We must move quickly before he can react. Build up the army and then push back the undead. We'll restore the Laster to the Silver City's Noxes. <laughs> We did it! The only thing that's left of the necromancers is the smell. I come with a message from Ireland. You look exhausted. Rest first and eat. Then we can talk. Only running 12 days. Test the manhood was worse. This is urgent. You see, Noxes, this is what I mean when I say urgent. Now, not after the next study break. Tell us. It is from Tiru. A wise man, but unstudied. Too devoted to dragon mythology. Can't think logically. No. Noxes! Tiru told us that the eclipse was used to mark a child as the mother of the demon messiah. Oh, come. Prophecies? Who believes them? We all believe the ones that come true, with hindsight. Besides, my father spoke to me of this one. So, Galen, do we know which child was so marked? Queen Isabel. Oh my! Is Tiru certain of this? He was sure. The demons killed him to try to keep the secret. Of course! That's why they keep invading like this, in small groups rather than ravaging hordes. They're here with a purpose. They're trying to get her, so we need to stop Isabel before... Before the demons get her, there is a right. One of Tiru's. Really? You can hardly call his dabblings rights. Noxes. He put the right on a scroll. Our leader Findin has it, and he is attacking the Griffin Empire to get Isabel. Well, Noxes, it will be a long time before we can study in peace and quiet. Call the battle mages. Let the circle summon troops and servants. We march for Talangar! The town of Westwall will be a tough nut. High walls, moats, undead armies, griffin knights. I have little interest in committing suicide. Perhaps we should go home. I know Solmia. I agree that we're a bit short on legendary gins, but there must be something we can do. Wait, undead and griffin knights, they wouldn't fight side by side willingly. And remember what Galen told us about Lord Caldwell and the rebels. So? Rebels, rebellion, it'll be easier if the griffin knights are on our side. But they won't follow me, they need a griffin leader. The locals have told us that Nikolai's uncle, Godric, is in prison here. Perhaps he could... Of course! The enemy of my enemy! Westwall will fall! Hey, that rhymed. What death magic is this? Quiet! I must be quick. Do you remember me? Young Zeer, we met briefly while your father was busy laughing at us. He was not known for his philanthropy, but I am here to help Griffin put things right. Then, you have a large task before you, young Archmage. Believe me, I know that. I need your help, Godric. Me? I am old and imprisoned. I have failed my king, my nation, Elrath. My time is past. I disagree. Would the Griffin Knights follow you if you were freed? We could fight together against the Necromancers. Take the field against Markal and his abominations? I may be old and worn, but just break me out of this place, young dear. And you'll see how the old hound hunts the weasels. Excellent. One thing, however. You'll help me free all the towns under his sway? Absolutely. It's party time.
Main troops? All they needed was a leader to convince them of their errors. Whoever thought that at this age, I'd have to learn the arts of diplomacy. <laughs> Griffin troops fight beneath an enemy banner, or are holed up in one of their towns. They won't listen to diplomacy. That's when we have to do things the old-fashioned way. We have come farther and faster than I had hoped. But it has been savage. So many have fallen. Some that I knew. Yet Isabel and Markel are still at large. Not for long. We have Markel cornered. Archmage Zia and Lord Godric, I presume? Greetings, Findon of Ireland. It is an honor. So, tell me. What is your plan? For the Elves, the next step is simple. Death to Markel. Agreed. Harder. But that won't be easy. Markel is no fool, and he has prepared himself. His power resides in three legendary relics. The first is the Black Crystal. He has that? It lets you tap into an infinite well of magic. He can fire off spells all day and never get tired. I fear it is so. Second, the Cursed Garrison. I have seen it in action. It provides him with a constant stream of fresh troops, or freshly rotted troops, I should say. It makes his armies endless. It must also be destroyed. Third, he has managed to find a tier of Asha. It increases the power of everything he rules. He must have taken the one from Dumor and corrupted it to suit his needs. Let's each take a target. I'll blow up the Black Crystal, Godric destroys the Cursed Garrison, and for Fyndon, the Tear of Asha. Once we've destroyed them all, my friends, we'll celebrate on their smoking ruins. We agree with the intent, Zaire. For the harmony. Griffin Eternal? As things stand, my friends, I would be content if the Griffin Empire lasts a few more days. I'm no longer so bold to predict eternity. Accept your surrender. Vile scum! For the abuse you have inflicted upon Isabel and the Griffin Empire! For the butchery you committed in Ireland. For just about everything you have ever done anywhere. That should cover it. I guess you'll just have to kill me. Send me to the afterlife. You know, that's the best news I've had in weeks. <laughs> Stop! Wait! What's all this noise? Just making sure... Of what? ...that he at least won't be resurrected. There are certain advantages to having a talented Archmage on the team. Alengard still stands, as does her queen. Tell me, Godric, as a loyal knight and follower of Elrath, how do you feel about Queen Isabel? Lady Isabel must be healed. Alengard, she must be sequestered. We may have to kill her. I would rather not. I would rather not. If we can avoid it, the harmony, Findin. If there are demons involved, there can never be a harmony. Let's get into Talangard. That's the first priority. And then we shall see how to handle Queen. Agreed. Agreed. What 
is this? The clans of Igchal again? Again? They came and helped Markal and Isabel destroy a demon army. Dark elves are allied to our undead enemies? We'll simply crush them, then take Talongard. Finden, they must have a reason. Let's talk to them first. But these are dark elves who turned from Salana. They too are part of the harmony. Ah, yes. I fear I have been too long at war. Not much longer now, my friend. Come, let us parley first, and then see if we must come to blows. Shadia, I barely sent word. Our spies told us of Zaya, Findon, and Godric. I came immediately. However... Who are you, and what are you doing here, blocking the highways of the Griffin Empire? I know you, Godric, but not your friends. Out of courtesy, however, I shall go first. I am Raylag, Clan Lord of Igshal, and I am here to kill demons. I am Findon of Ireland, Dark Elf. We're going to Talongard, and if we must crush you to get there, few tears will be spilled. Really? Such anger. It's so... unharmonious. How dare you! I am Zaire, Archmage of the Silver Cities. Our business is with Queen Isabel. What sort of business? There is a... concern. Other than the undead. Demons? Exactly. It's actually a sort of... Prophecy? Exactly. A sage... Tiru. What? You know him as well? He gave Finden an artifact for a rite. It is her last hope. I see. So you wish to perform this rite on Isabel? Exactly. Then I will join you. You will not. I will see that she is given every chance. I do not want to see her harm. None of us do. But if she cannot be healed... Be strong, Isabel. Have faith. We will get you through. Please, Rayleigh. I must concentrate. and spiritually in the demon's jail world of Sheog. What about this? The heart of the griffin. I know it was made to banish demons, but can we use it on ourselves? Ah? Hmm. Uh -huh. Aha! Well, can you? Can you send us as well? How's that? Kabbalah's lapdog, Biara, should be here in Urhakal. The only question we're going to have is who gets her head. Yara! 
It's payback time. Idiot! Oh! <laughs> Falling in love with that child! You almost ruined everything! I take that as a compliment. I enjoy ruining your plans. And we enjoy helping him do it. That was for Isabel. That was for Shadow. What? I was Shadia. Fine. Then that's just because I like hitting you. That one, Biara, was for all of a shot. Stop! Enough! Kill me, and your girlfriend dies too. What? Isabel. She lives. Spare me, and I will lead you to her. I will twist your body and soul until you beg to tell me. Don't, Renag. Don't become like them again. Where, Biara? Where is she? Come. This way. It's a trap. Traps can be blown up, Raylag. Not with Isabel inside. But if she is the bait in the trap, I'm willing to spring it. Where is she? <laughs> What perfect timing. I was just about to put the kettle on. A ray lag, is it? Might I have a word with you? My friends call me ray lag. You can call me Agrail. Such petty rudeness. Can't we discuss this like gentle demons? What do you want? She does have that glow, doesn't she? Bearing my child. So good with her. You! Look, I have the child. I don't care about the woman. You can have her back. If? If you help me get rid of these pesky friends you brought along. Never. I won't betray everything that I have struggled to gain. Even for Isabel. Oh, you see what spending too much time in the Griffin Empire does to your sense of priorities? If you won't join in me, then you will die here. Remember when you told me that I was next? Yes. I wasn't. You are. <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from. Take that, evildoer! By the Lord! Take that! This is only a battle. The war will still be mine. What did he mean by that? I don't know. It's your job to figure it out. I just want to get Isabel safely away. Agreed. With Tiru's artifact and Saralam's wisdom, we can heal her. Not so fast. She has been tainted. She should stay here. Hey! You would make her stay? Of course! She has given birth to the demon messiah, but my last us by! No. I say we save Isabel. Stop worrying! I can open a portal to the Silver Cities. There we can restrain her if it is necessary. Are you sure you can? Sar Alam was a greater mage than even Kabaleth. You may be bartering with the future of the world. Not at all, Fendon. You must trust me. Very well. Let us see. Praise the light that we have made it back safely. I think the Talangar Cathedral will need new doors. 
I think what the Talent Guard Cathedral really needs is a new priesthood. And you as our new god, my lord. Come, Isabel. We have much work to do. You can't imagine the half of it, Godric. I'd like to get started immediately.